Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna open the Glossy Box Holiday Box. Glossy Box is a monthly beauty subscription. If you buy Glossy Box just one month, you just wanna try it out, $21 a month. If you say you're gonna buy a year, they still charge you monthly, but it's $18 a month. So it's pretty cool because you get the discount and you still, you're committing to the year, but you get to pay it over the 12 months anyway. One of the perks of Glossy Box is they have all kinds of limited edition boxes. This is one of those limited edition boxes and it's discounted if you're a member. I'm really excited for this one. I love the pull tab. Always gotta love the pull tab. This matches the advent calendar. So if you got the advent calendar, how cute would that be? This literally looks exactly the same except a smaller version. So if you had them next to each other, like this could have something in it and then those drawers could have something else. I removed all the things out and I'm reusing the drawers and I love it. I have all my glossy skincare on the bottom. It's beautiful. Like I said, if you're a subscriber, you get a discount. So this box is $30 for subscribers or 35 for non-subscribers. So you can buy this even if you're not a Glossy Box subscriber. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe using my code Jessica16 and I'll link it down below so it'll take you directly to cart and input the code for you. So Jessica16 and you'll get the first box for $16 of your Glossy Box subscription and then you'll get the $5 off this box because you became a subscriber. So it's like getting $5 off twice. By the way, this is magnetic, lovely. They always outdo themselves. It says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I'm hoping we can focus some on the positive and negative and that it can help us like find a little few silver linings that have come from this year. So this box was sent to me for free for my review. You will always get my honest review. I will also make sure to let you know how many items are cruelty free in the box. It's not Glossy Box's fault. They do not promise to be a cruelty free box, but I do like to share how cruelty free the items are. Let's start with this big bottle. It's like the biggest one here. This is just like so perfectly packaged. This is from Authentic Beauty Concept. It says, authentic beauty is real, honest, and purpose-driven. What we leave out is just as important as what we put in. Performance-driven vegan formulas free of microplastics, I love that, mineral oil, parabens, and silicones. So I'm also, usually I avoid mineral oils. So all of that is something that I don't want in my products, so that's great. It says dry shampoo, texture shampoo on it. The back does say vegan. We're gonna have to check if they're a cruelty-free brand because that does not say anything on here but I will definitely check into this for you guys. I'm gonna go and order how they have them here so I could tell you the size. So this says Deluxe Mini. Then we have Intraceuticals. This is a brand I've never heard of as well, but it says Daily Serum on it and it says Revive. One Revive, so there must be more steps than one. And then back it says Apply to all areas of the face and neck twice daily prior to hydration gel. So I guess this is a way to try to get you to buy hydration gel and moisture binding cream or as directed by your skincare professional. Interesting, what's in here that would require my skincare professional to direct me? Aloe leaf extract, I like that. Sodium hyaluronate, so that's hyaluronic acid in a form that is very small, molecular weight, and can go deep in your skin, so it's anti-aging product. I love serums, you apply serums, after you cleanse and tone your face, but before you moisturize. And this has sodium hyaluronate in it, which is a small molecular weight, and you want that to go in before anything with a larger weight gets put on top. Because if you put that larger weight, like let's say you put your daily moisturizer or sunscreen, and then you put this on top, it's not gonna be able to penetrate your skin. So this will go after cleansing and toner, and this is also a deluxe mini size. Next, we have something from KAB or Cab Cosmetics, and this looks like either a lip liner or an eyeliner. I'm gonna see if I can use it. I cannot use it. So I'm actually gonna save this. It's in the shade Strawberry Daiquiri, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you could see a photo. Normally I would swatch this, but when I do these limited edition boxes, I don't do a full try-on. It's better if I save these and then I can give them to you guys in my 5K giveaway. Not everyone is as picky as I am with ingredients, but I am very picky about what I put on my lips. It's not gonna hurt you to use this, so this will definitely go in a giveaway for somebody who will actually love and use it. I'm pretty sure they're a cruelty-free brand, but I'm gonna talk about that in the end when we talk about money. I'll talk about like some mini research that I do. So I'll let you know at that point if this is a cruelty-free brand or not. So far, I don't know if any of them are cruelty-free because they're brands that 
I'm not too sure I don't normally buy. And that happens a lot in Glossy Box because it's a UK based company. I do feel like they use other brands that I'm not used to, but I love that because sometimes in some of our subscription boxes, we get the same old, same old, or like the same company in every single box. And you know, I'm happy to get a million sponge gels, so I'm not mad about it. And I'm Daily Concepts is very useful, so I'm not mad about it. But I do like to be introduced to new brands as well, and I do think this box helps do that. And this is a full size item. The next item is from BioSilk. This one says made in the USA and it's their Silk Therapy Original. I feel like either I've used it before, I've seen it before, it just looks so familiar to me, this bottle. And so this says, place a small amount onto the palms and apply the scalp to end. Maybe used on wet or dry hair, use as often as necessary. Let's put a little in right now. We're not gonna do a try on anyway. Let's see if we're gonna make these shine a little bit more. How do we feel about this so far? You know, honestly, I don't really remember what my hair looked like to begin with, but we're on day two hair. So it shouldn't have been too oily to begin with. I like the smell though, it reminds me of the salon. And I don't know why, it must be something my hairdresser also has put on my hair in the past. Also my hand feels fine, like it doesn't feel super oily and gross. So it definitely just transferred to my hair and stayed there. Again, this brand does not say if it's cruelty free or not. So we're at four for four, we have no clue so far, but don't worry, we're gonna talk about it at the end. And this is a deluxe mini as well. The next thing we got is like a whole set and they say this is full size as well. It is the Travel Buddy Moisturizing Mini Kit. And it says healthy skin goes with you. First of all, there's so much information. Your girl appreciates information, love it. Oh my gosh, I love this. How to combine them, Mr. Reliable, Bomb Voyage, Aqua Fix, and the Better Oil. Oh my gosh, they have a cheat sheet. So it's as if you're going on a long plane ride, you want Bomb Voyage. For winter wonderland, so I'm guessing cold frigid air, you want Aquafix, The Better Oil, Bomb Voyage, and Mr. Reliable. Is this a hair thing? For the beach, you want Aquafix. For concrete jungle, so in the city, you want The Better Oil and Aquafix. And for a work trip, you want Mr. Reliable. Look how much information they packed into their packaging. I'm so, so in love with that. Okay, this says, the chemist created these moisturizers with best in class ingredients to hydrate and soothe any skin type. Duh, of course it's for skin. It just sounds like hair because it said like Bomb Voyage and Aquafix, I don't know. And they gave us a Glossy Box discount. If you use the code Glossy Box, you got more of a discount on their website. So we love that too. Let's open it up. So it's cute little wallet size. This is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's also magnetic. And then we have all of our little travel essentials inside. This has sold me, as long as it's cruelty free, I'll check in a bit. This has sold me on this box already. Mr. Reliable All-in-One Moisturizer. Aquafix Hydrating Water Gel. The Better Oil Nourishing Emollients. I know I'm not saying that right. And Bomb Viage Soothing Occlusives. I'm really impressed with the presentation though. Obviously I'm a sucker for packaging and presentation. Very, very useful. And the colors are great too. I love this color and I feel like anybody could get down with these colors. Like this doesn't clash with anybody's travel set. They gave us all this information and I still can't find anything that says whether they're cruelty free or not. So we are gonna look up so far five products to find out whether they're cruelty free or not. And fingers crossed we have some in here. Our next product is from Christoph Robin and this is their cleansing volumizing paste with clay and rose extracts. Ooh, you better love rose if you're using this. <laughs> It's at least the fresh rose scent and not the artificial rose scent because the artificial rose scent, I cannot stand. The fresh rose scent, I also drink rose latte, so obviously I don't dislike rose, but it just can be so strong that I feel like it has to be used with a really light hand and most companies do not understand that. If this is something I wash off, then it's definitely fine. It does say it's free of parabens, silicones, SLS, and colorant, so I love all of that. So it says apply on wet hair, massage in the scalp, and then rinse. Then you apply a volumizing conditioner. So I can get down with that because it's only gonna be in my hair for a little bit of time. If this was like a leave-in, like this BioSilk stuff, there's no way I could wear this because it would make me sick to have that much rose scent on me at all times. The purpose of this product, by the way, is to increase the volume at your roots without weighing down your hair. So you're using it on your scalp area and it's increasing volume. We'll see about that. I don't usually need very much volume. I'm usually trying to take down my volume by like, straightening my hair. So normally I don't go for items like this, but we're gonna try it. I do know that this is cruelty free. So we do have a cruelty free product now. Item number seven is from MZ Skin and it actually says by Dr. 
Miriam Zamini. So it looks like it's a doctor that set this up. It looks like it's a two piece mask. So we have the mask on top and the mask on bottom. I love it when they're two pieces. I don't know if maybe I just don't have a normal shaped head. I really hope that I have a normal shaped head, but for some reason the two pieces fit me perfectly and the one pieces, sometimes I cut them a little. So I cut around my nose and eye area right here and I cut sometimes on the side if like they just really don't fit my face right. So I don't know, do I have like a short and wide face instead of having like a normal face? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about my face? Try to be kind. Okay, so let's talk about this. It is the Hydra Lift Golden Facial Treatment Mask. Gold is supposed to be really good for your complexion and all of that. It says it promotes skin cell repair, reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation. Oh, I need that. And helps even skin tone to restore a radiant and refreshed complexion. So you get one mask in here and they are saying this is full size. So probably you can buy it as one mask. Let's look at the ingredients and see if there's anything that I really like. It says hyaluronic acid. So I'm not sure what form that's in, but I'm assuming it is just the general hyaluronic acid form. That is a very large molecular weight. So it will not penetrate your skin. It's gonna sit on top of your skin. So that's more for moisturizing than for anti-aging. It'll just sit there and like, Anything you have, any moisturizer, any moisture from the air will help like get that on your face, like be better at getting it on your face, but it's not gonna go deep in your pores and moisturize from within. And that's how you get the anti-aging hyaluronic acids. This one's just gonna sit on top, but this also has collagen in it. It has niacinamides in it. So it's definitely gonna be an anti-aging product as well. And that hyaluronic acid sitting on top is gonna help hold an even larger amount of all those other things that are in here onto your skin. But by the way, this one also has rose oil in it. So it probably also smells like roses. It's one use, so I'm not gonna open it and let you know what it smells like because I wanna use it when I'm ready to use it. We're just gonna assume it smells like roses. It is fragrance free. I did not see fragrance on the list, but it has rose oil in it. It's probably gonna get some fragrance from that. And again, no clue if it's cruelty free or not. They don't list it on here. We are gonna do the research and we are gonna get that information for you. And last but not least, a glitter lover's dream. We have this really cool glitter nail polish from Lauren B Beauty. I do love glitter. I also know that Lauren B Beauty is a cruelty-free brand. Let's put this on here. I wanna see how thick it is. Oh, wow. This is gonna be some great New Year's glitter for you. My fingers are so dry right now and they desperately, desperately need that balm from my skincare kit. So I might have to use that because it's not even winter in Southern California, all right? It's not winter at all. We don't even get winter. But my fingers are freaking out and I think I've just washed them too many times plus the winter. And this nail polish is of course a full set. Do not judge my cuticles and my dry, dry fingers during this close up. We just got put on lockdown, kind of technically, I don't even know, again in California. And I have a general anxiety disorder so it makes me more nervous than most, I believe. I just like, I freak out over anything, okay. You tell me like crickets are eating people's fingernails and I will be afraid of crickets. I actually am afraid of crickets. So that was a bad example. I don't know why I chose crickets. I'm gonna do my mini research. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you if it's cruelty free or not. We're gonna talk about money and we're gonna talk about where they're made. A few moments later. All right, we're back with our research. We're gonna start with Authentic Beauty Concept. And yes, this is a cruelty-free brand. The retail value, if you do it milliliter by milliliter, which is the way that I do it, they said $10, but I do it milliliter by milliliter. So it's $9.91 when you compare it to full size. Pretty close to $10. I'm just, that's just the way that my brain works. I need to see the math. This product is a 4.5 star rating with 45 reviewers and it's made in Hungary. The next product is from Intraceuticals. It is a cruelty-free brand. Thumbs up for that. You're not even gonna believe the price for this product. The retail value for the full size is $149. This is a half size sample. That means it's worth $74.50. So this better be the best hyaluronic serum I ever put on my face. I do get happy to get things like this in the box because it's something that I would never, ever, buy for myself. I would never spend $149 on a full-size hyaluronic. I don't even care how rich I was, I wouldn't. That's just, that's crazy. There's a lot of good hyaluronic acids that don't are not that expensive. But there's some beauty box things that I have found 
that have become my holy grail. And I know some people know what I'm talking about <laughs> if they've been following me for a while that are very expensive. And I would have never even tried it unless I got it in a beauty box or a sale or something to try out a brand that is otherwise too expensive for my taste. So I am very happy to get things like this. If this is amazing, I will talk about it on my Instagram. This particular product only had seven reviews. So I don't like to talk about them unless they have 10 or more. I feel like that's even that's not a good sample size, but that just makes me feel better talking about it because statistics are weird. You need like a pretty large sample size before you can even say that they're valid. Enough ranting about that, but this product is made in Australia. For the Cab Cosmetics, this is actually a Leaping Bunny certified company. So that means that their entire supply chain was certified that they are cruelty-free. It's the most strict cruelty-free certification you can get, and it's recognized worldwide. This is a full size. It's $12. This one only had five reviews, so we're not going to talk about those as well. And this product is made in China. For this product, the BioSilk Silk Therapy, this is not a cruelty-free brand. Even though they don't do animal testing, they do sell in China. And when they export to China, they're required to do pre-market testing. So that is not considered a cruelty-free brand. This one, milliliter for milliliter. I calculated it and I got $9.36. Glossybox calculation says $15.95. I don't know how they calculate theirs. Maybe packaging or maybe the company tells them this is what we would sell this deluxe sample for, but I do it milliliter for milliliter. I think that's the most fair way. So I'm giving it a $9.36 value. This product has a lot of ratings though. It has more than 6,000 ratings and a 4.7 star. That's really high for that many ratings. So they can't all be fake. I mean, I guess they could, but they're not. 6,000, that's a lot for a company to try to do that just to like trick us into buying their product. This product is made in the USA. For the Chemist Confessions, our little four-piece skincare that is just in the cutest little travel packaging ever. This is a Leaping Bunny certified company. So even better than cruelty-free. This is full size, so it's $35. And it's made in Taiwan. This had zero reviews available. So it might be a new product, I don't know. I couldn't even find one review, even on their own website. For Christoph Robin, this is a cruelty-free brand. This they calculated the same that I got. Milliliter for milliliter is $10.13, and that's what they say in their little booklet as well. This had a 4.1 star rating with 1,611 reviews, and this product is made in Italy. For MZ Skin, this product, they say that they are cruelty-free, and their website even says that they're cruelty-free. They've done interviews where they say, yes, we're 100% cruelty-free, and this is very important to us, but there are some so they sell a placenta, a sheep placenta serum. It's supposed to be amazing for your skin. And they say that they ethically source that placenta from wool farms. So there's some websites that are like, are they really cruelty free? Like, can you ethically source placenta? I don't, I assume you can when the little baby sheep are born, but I don't know, but it just, there was no clear information and there's have to research a little bit more on your own because it's very hard, especially when it's just their site saying, yes, we're cruelty free or just them on interviews. And it's not a second source that has verified that. And there is no second source that has verified MZ skin for me. So usually then I, I tend to treat them not cruelty free because it's a little bit easier to do that for my conscience than to say like, well, they say they're cruelty free. So let me treat it that way. So. It's up to you though. They say that they are cruelty free. The retail value for this, it's one mask and the retail value is $30. It's a very pricey mask. Maybe it's amazing. We shall see once I try it. This did not say where it was made. It just says distributed in the UK. I, for some reason, thought things had to say where they were made. I checked all over the packaging. I couldn't find it. So distributed in the UK. Our nail polish chopper from Lauren B Beauty is a cruelty free brand and this is full size. So it's $14. That's what I have, $14. This has a 3.7 star rating with 104 reviewers. However, all those reviews are on Glossy Box's website. Sometimes when it comes in a box, people just give it a negative review because they're like, I don't use nail polish. I didn't want this in my box. I want Glossy Box to know that. It decreases the review. So I don't usually like to use any reviews. Like I don't use anything from other subscription boxes as well because sometimes the customer is just trying to make a message about what they want in their box not about the quality of the actual product. It's different when somebody seeking out a nail polish goes and buys a nail polish, tries it, likes it or doesn't, and then leaves a review. So that's just my two cents on that, but because that was all I could find, I decided to share it anyway. I don't know why, just felt like it this video. 
and this product is made in the USA. So when you add all of these little babies up for me, it's $209.90. They promise eight items. Pretty sure we got eight. Yep, we got eight with a value over $200. Pretty sure that's a value over $200. And if you're a member, like I said, if you're a subscriber, you get that for $30. If you're not a subscriber, you get it for $35. So not a bad deal either way. If you're interested in subscribing, I will leave my link and my code, which is Jessica16, down below, and you'll get your first box for $16 and then this box for $30 when you add both to cart. That is not an affiliate link. And last time I had someone ask, what is the difference between an affiliate link, a referral link, and a regular link? I'm gonna break it down really quickly, but I also am gonna probably answer this in my Ask Me A Question, which is coming up. An affiliate link is a link that every sale, they pay me a percentage. They don't charge you anymore, they just like pay me commission for referring you. Kind of like they pay sales commission to a salesperson. It's a, it's pennies pennies on the dollar that you spend that they pay it, but that can add up. If I tell a hundred people, hey, I really love this shampoo and you all use that, that could add up, you know, over time, hundreds or thousands or whatever. The second kind of link is a referral link. Referral links give you credits or discounts or some other type of reward for referring a friend. So both of those links help my channel grow. This link is neither, this promo code is neither. This is just so Glossybox knows, hey, she did a great job in her video. Here's all the people that watched it and they were interested because of how she presented everything. Send her a box in the future, you know? So it does tell them like how well the collaboration is working because they're making an investment in me by sending me this box. It's just for you guys, use the best code that you can find. If you can find any box less than $16, sometimes like they had their Black Friday sale or whatever, if you can find another way to become a subscriber that's even lower, make sure you're using what's best for you. In the comments down below, as always, please let me know what your favorite item in this box was. I don't know, I guess mine is the little travel set just cause it's so cute. And Leaping Bunny certified. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.